Google Kickstarter round in 2020. Second problem is high buildings. So let's understand the statement. We are given n buildings in a line and two persons are looking. One is from left, another is from right. So this person will see three buildings. This one. And this person will see these three buildings. So every building has different height and as you see there are eight buildings here and these one two and three buildings are hidden so from out these eight buildings three buildings are hidden and one building is seen by both the persons so these are the value we have given number of buildings building seen by person from the left side from the right side and both the side so this is b this is a and uh, this is c now we have to find out an arrangement that satisfies the given values otherwise we say it is impossible so let's check for the possibilities first is impossible cases so like if a plus b minus c is greater than n it means we have seen more building than they are actually have then it is impossible another condition is like it's if a plus b minus c is equal to 1 and n is greater than or equal to 2 means we are seeing less building than actually are so it is again impossible so if these two condition is there we have to print out impossible so let's code it step by step. So first code for impossible condition. Let's say we have four integers and input of every integer for given test cases. So here let's for impossible conditions. So we check if a plus b minus c is greater than n or a plus b minus c is equal to 1 and n is greater than or equal to 2. If one of these conditions is true for given input, then we print out the uh, impossible. And let's write the output format for kickstart. this is now let's go for another possible conditions so let's say we have n equal to 1 it means we have only one building in that case our answer is very simple only one building and with a height of 1 and for both person can see it from the left side and from the right side and building is seen from the both side with height of 1 so let's code for this so we check if n equal to 1 then we have to simply print out 1 that is our other. next is n equal to 2 it means we have two buildings so now we get three possible conditions first is both building are of same height Another possible condition is one is taller, let's say first is taller and second is smaller and third condition first is small and second one is taller. So here if you see this is c equal to 2 condition means both are of the same height. Here it is b equal to 2 because the person from the right side will see both the building. So it is b equal to 2 and here left one is c only one and third one left left person will see both so a equal to two and right one c only one so these are the three cases for n equal to two if one of them is given then we can simply print out the values max height is two and small height is one so for first one it is two two or b equal to two it is uh, one and two and for a equal to 2 this is 1 and 2 so let's code here else if 
n equal equal to then we have three countries on e c equal to two then output is two and two if a equal to two then our output is one two if b equal to two then our output is two one so this is another possible condition and now we have to say if anything else is there then we say it is impossible to now let's go for remaining possibilities where n is greater than 2 in that case let's say we have our buildings with some high taller buildings in the middle some building on the left side some building on the right side and some buildings are hidden in between so here we have a minus c buildings on the left side c buildings are in the middle and b minus c building on the right side now tallest building has a height of three and visible buildings are height of two and uh, hidden buildings are height of one like we can take any heights but these three height will work for every possible test cases so we run simple for loop for a minus c times and we push the visible height two for c we push the height of three and for right side again height is two now to find out the hidden buildings we have already counted a plus b minus c buildings so the remaining buildings are simply n minus a plus b minus c this will give us the number of hidden buildings and each one have a height of one and we can push them anywhere in between left buildings and middle uh, tallest buildings. so let's say we put them right here so they are hidden because their height is only one that's the code for this one this is for n is uh, greater than two or let's say greater than or equal to three so here first let's say we need a vector to store the values call it answer and we know the length it is up to the n because we have n buildings now first is if we insert a minus c buildings with height of 2 that are visible from only left side let's copy the same loop now we enter c buildings with height of 3 that is the max height building and visible from the both side and then we have p minus c buildings with height of 2 only visible from the right side now to find out the hidden buildings let's say we have a integer height and value is n minus a plus b minus c now if height is greater than zero means we have some buildings which are hidden so we have to insert them inside of our vector so let's say insert dot insert and we insert them after the first building we insert them as a height of one now our vector is complete and we can print out so for integer say equal to zero we have a print out all element with space separated and after the last element we have to end line so that's it and there is one two things right here every this code is inside our for loop for every test cases and impossible condition else possible condition let's execute our code it is working copy it paste our code and submit it now you have to look for every possible condition otherwise you get wrong answer like i get eight or ten cover all the test cases 
so let's try this time and it is working it is correct 